What do you do when you're the proud owner of an ultra-luxurious vintage automobile, which has an original steering wheel that's several kilometers short of being as elegant as the car? You order yourself a handsome, custom-made steering wheel, designed to match the vehicle's deluxe interior. From the plain original steering wheel to a deluxe edition befitting a vintage automobile custom matched to its woodwork and leather interior. They start by skinning the original wheel, a steel ring covered in black plastic with some leather trim. After slicing and chiseling off the covering, they file the ring clean because they'll be reusing it for the new wheel. However, they'll encase it within two plywood rings to beef up the width and thickness and to create a substrate on which to glue the wood veneer. Using a jigsaw and a bandsaw, they cut a front ring and a back ring out of European birch plywood. Then they mill the profile, including a groove inside for the metal ring. Once the shape is finalized, they sand the surface smooth to prep it to receive the wood veneer. Veneer is made from a piece of wood sliced into ultra-thin sheets called leaves. For each steering wheel, they take four consecutively cut leaves so that their wood grain pattern is nearly identical. For each plywood ring, they take two of those leaves and tape them mirror image to each other. They insert adhesive where the taped edges meet and let it dry overnight. Then they lay the ring pattern onto the veneer, trace and cut out the shape. Next, they notch the veneer ring so that it can fold over the ring's edges. After coating the plywood ring with glue, they center the veneer and tape down the edges. They add a layer of protective plastic, followed by rubber cushioning. These will protect the veneer surface in the next machine. A vacuum press. Powerful suction draws the bag tightly around the materials. This locks the veneer onto the plywood substrate, forcing out any air in between them, which would hinder full adhesion. Each plywood ring is now veneered and ready to encase the metal ring of the original steering wheel. The workers apply glue to the underside of both rings into the groove. Then they assemble the two veneered rings over the metal one. They set clamps all around and leave the glue to dry overnight. The next day, they remove the clamps and put the steering wheel in an oven for about eight hours to cure the glue. Once the steering wheel cools, they file away excess glue that seeped out the seam, then sand the entire surface silky smooth. They protect the delicate veneer with eight coats of resin, cured in the oven for optimal durability. Then they polish the surface with a series of compounds to produce a glossy finish, which highlights the richness of the wood grain. The perimeter of the steering wheel now completed, they cover the spokes and hub with fine leather. First gluing the pieces, then hand-stitching them. They put back the original steering wheel's hub, which they had removed before the makeover. Then, the finishing touch, a veneered horn button. After all, when you're driving a luxury car, you might just want to toot your own horn. <laughs>